Hello, adventurer! How can I help you? I need a scroll. Conjure flame, Atronach. The summoning scroll. Even a warrior like you can summon a flame, Atronach, with this scroll. Oh, uh... Whoa, man. Master. Pops. Yes? A bottle of potion of resist fire. Oh, you dirty, dirty son of a... <laughs> I mean, you know, those flame astronauts got a lot of people questioning themselves in the Skyrim is all I can say. And what's even better is when you can learn to summon multiple of them and, you know, we eating good, especially with mods. I'm actually curious, what did modded flame astronauts look like? Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, they made them way more curvy in all of this. There is one that just increased the flame of boobas. <laughs> Ain't no shot. Anyway, what's cracking, guys, and welcome to another video game meme session out here. I'm your host, Noble of Lost Paws. Stick around, it's good to have some new faces in here. Always love to see some new faces. I'm out here, my Bowser shirt that I got from Japan. I, I feel like a boss in this thing. Ah, I mean, I guess. A literal boss that you have to fight. No, okay, no, you don't have to fight me, you know. But if you want to smash that like button to see if you can defeat me, I think at least 5K will defeat me. I don't know if you can do it, though. The fact that Mortal Kombat girls used to look like this was insane, and oh my golly. And yeah, too bad they look like this now, and oh god. I guess they really want to get in that esports market there, you know? They, they can't tone it out on the violence, that's what they're known for. The thing that's definitely worse, but a, a little too sexily clad lady out there, that's, that's, that's too far now. We can't have any of that. Oh, Ro Dr. Robotnik out here. What is it, Sage? It better be good. Uh, wow. Oh, he just nabs it right out of her hand, and it's a little picture. It is, uh, mm, good work. Now, go and paste it on the fridge and let me work. And, aww, that's really cute, Seti Spaghetti. <laughs> the fact that, you know, Dr. Ropotnik was already very likable, but the, now he's a, a dad. And actually, actually, a pretty good dad makes him even more likable. I, I like Dr. Ro Ivo Robotnik, and it's not just that keeps dub that made me love him even more, too. So Nintendo out here with some lawyers, and they're giving over to Unity, and Unity is just the lawyers of Nintendo looking at you like a snag, bro. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw Woody Woodpecker, and I just had to do it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that Pokemon Unite and some other Pokemon games out there are running in Unity, so um, I think they're going to have a fun time ripping Unity a new butthole. Just, you know, if they try to collect on that, oh, they got, they got some... They're gonna have a good time. All right, so Unity out here talking to these devs. Uh, you made one game and sold 500 copies? Um, yes, but we paid for that. Uh, well, that was under our pri old price structure. Under our new price structure, you owe me $30 million. Get out of our property. <laughs> Legally, they cannot retroactively charge you for old stuff. Thankfully, I guess maybe they are capable of changing the whole thing on devs just under their noses even now it's out if they get more installs and just be like, well, you may have agreed to our old stuff, but <laughs> you're under our new one now. That's, that's terrifying. And Unity with an apology. Now, we have heard you. We apologize for the confusion and angst the runtime fee policy we announced on Tuesday caused. We are listening, talking to our team members, community, co uh, customers, and partners, and we will be making changes to the policy. We will share an update in a couple of days. Thank you for your honest and critical feedback. And Nintendo, uh, <laughs> there you go. Good job with that apology, Unity. Although it's terrible, because if they were actually sorry about it, they would just not make changes. They would just get rid of it. Shouldn't even be a, a, a subject to bring up at this point out here. I did a whole thing about this on my Twitch channel. I did a whole spiel about this, getting all the drama. They just threw a hardball out there and hoped it stuck, but it didn't. So now they're going to come back and just throw a softer ball and hope it sticks and hope people just let it blow over just like what happened to reddit and other things like that they'll just throw a softer ball maybe they'll people will forget found out an mk1 came out on the switch with the side effect of facial expressions not being a thing and on the ps5 
versus the switch. What <laughs> is going on in the switch? And, and then the Joey. <laughs> you know, one day Nintendo will have a next gen console. One day. Yeah, we hope. Uh, how long has the Switch I've been out for? Let me see this. In 2017, March 3rd. We're getting closer to that seven year mark out here. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. I think we're a little bit overdue, Nintendo. I'm so tired of you pretending to be some uh, dumb video game character. What? You're not a Brazilian samurai and you can't double jump. Okay. Okay. And he's fighting all the knives and daggers. Oh, let's go! Not good enough. Maybe I can discuss it. So what the heck? Oh my god. Then go back to the kitchen, go! This actually just goes on for a minute 22 of him just fighting against this girl. <laughs> Man, Jetstream Sam is just one of those characters that you will always just remember. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. Everyone liked him more than Raiden. I didn't ask how small the room was. I said cast fireball. And, oh. Wait, is that a bunch of explosive barrels around? Oh. That's the rune powder bomb. Oh my. Oh. <laughs> I mean, you got him, I guess, but that's a lot of people you just aggroed in that room. <laughs> Holy crap. Uh, okay. Infamous 2 perfectly captures the struggle of the modern man as Cole is forced to pick between his crazy Caribbean voodoo girlfriend and his literal ice-cold veins Asian girlfriend. A tough choice indeed. Dang, man. He's just sitting there. <laughs> I mean, at least me as a weeb, I never have to make these choices. I'm able just to get them all because they don't matter. They're not real. So being a weeb has its benefits. Some people deal with grief in the exact same way. And Yakuza like a dragon and Cloud on the Segway and they pass each other by. <laughs> like, wait a minute. What are you doing here? That was the weirdest thing, just seeing them on a Segway. I mean, the game looks interesting at the very least out there, you know, more Final Fantasy is always cool, but why a Segway? I am the darkness. Oh, you want cuddles? Okay, I give cuddles, <laughs> says the, okay, but I'm still the darkness. All right, Shadowheart. I mean, she's got her soft side out there. I feel like if you talk to her, you get to know Shadowheart a little bit more. She definitely softens up a little bit, but she is kind of an edgelord, I'll give her that. Oh, we have a screenshot from Baldy Gate out here. And why does your main character's gear look like he's straight from the tutorial? And wait, yeah. I'm gonna save this next time I have to roast someone's dream. <laughs> That's a good insult. Yo, man, you look like you're straight out of a tutorial section out there, man. Get yourself up, man. Get yourself at least some blues or purple rarity gear on there. <laughs> Come on, man. Gaze upon Mikola, trying to fit in his throne. And... He's just a little fumo. <laughs> ah, so cute. <laughs> but very dangerous. Probably gonna be the subject of the Elden Ring DLC, and I cannot wait to see what's going on in that. NBC's booty hole devours step bar. What? Jet. Okay. Dang, he dragged you right out of the car. Oh, we going at it? All right, bro. Take him out. Oh. Oh. Oh my god, he's hungry butt! <laughs> he's hungry butt! It even sounded like it was munching on the metal! <laughs> Holy crap, dude! He got his iron intake, definitely! Oh, so we have a drawing of Peach and Bowser and Mario just getting NTR'd out here and... Okay, very, very sad. Alright, yeah, Peach getting married to Bowser and... Wait a minute. Super NTR and... Oh no, and Bowser's just like... What, what, bro? You gonna buy it or what, man? <laughs> hey, wait, there's even more here. Is that Peach disguising herself as boy love? Bro? Oh, no. And Peach, oh, Lord. Okay, a cute little addition there, I suppose. If it's just a drawing, Mario shouldn't be too offended by it, all right? It's just a drawing. It's just make-believe. At least let him be somewhat happy in his make-believe world. Hello, baby. Hey, yo, Batman. 
Oh. I hope you choke on a mother pick up cheese stick, you nasty, greasy shit. You look like you drink white Gatorade and smell like nickel. <laughs> Fuck you. Dizzy, what kind of insult is that? You drink white Gatorade and smell like nickels. I mean, nickels is means you just probably drink the sunny water, but like, ugh. White Gatorade? I feel like it's not that bad, but I definitely prefer red or, you know, at least the lemon lime. Blue is also in a very good flavor as well. What I, I'm now I'm probably gonna start a war over what's the best flavor of Gatorade. <laughs> what color is the good color? Oh, yeah, Letty Demetri. Oh my God. Any last words, vermin? And harder. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. I mean. Oh yeah. All right. Uh huh. Breaks down. <laughs> All right, I mean, that's, uh, that's, a, that's a nice cosplay is all I'm gonna say out there. But again, I get why people are attracted to Lady uh, Lady D out here, but you know, I kind of want to keep my life. I also don't want her like chopping off my hand and sucking on the the stump of whatever's left there. That's not, that's not it, man. That's not my, not my style. So Cloud on his segue and Sephiroth segue. <laughs> <laughs> I can just hear his theme, just because it sits so stupidly long, for no reason. How does he even carry his sword, that stupid long ass katana? It's impossible, Severoth. What are you? Why, you got some issues. Girls and their gamer boyfriends. He's not a creature, he's my husband. Aww. <laughs> At least she loyal to the husband out there, even if he is just, you know, that. <laughs> At least that's something. So Wizards of the Coast out here saying, I want money from your projects. And the fan base is giving them a finger and like, daw darn. And they did lose, they did. Um, and what, someone in the distance? That looks like a really good idea, says <laughs> you. Well, we did win with Wizards of the Coast, so maybe we can win with Unity, though winning with Unity may be a little bit harder to do, but we'll see. It all depends on this response of whatever's going to be coming. It's probably going to be quite ripe. And five years of Bowsette, number one mob. Uh, has it really been five years since I did, like, my Bowsette thing? I think it's time we end this video. Anyway, I'll... Thank you guys so much uh, for the fun and all the good stuff out here. A lot of good video game memes. That's so a good sensible chuckles. If you guys want to watch some more videos, I have plenty more for you to check out. Feel free. If not, well, sheesh. Hope you'll at least see you beautiful sons of guns in the next video. Hit a little boogie with it. Oh, was that the SpongeBob? Huh?